What's up everybody, it's Dustin with Backstage Guitar and this is a Backstage Breakthrough. What's up everybody, it's great to be back. I apologize for the long absence, but I was raising my son Christopher, who was born on March 21st, 2022. He's finally gone to daycare at a whopping 22 pounds and five months old, which gives me time to make videos for you wonderful folks. In the meantime, Stranger Things came along and repopularized guitar, and I have to thank them for that. If you haven't seen season four, I won't give you any spoilers, except for the fact that one of the major characters has an epic moment playing Master of Puppets on guitar by Metallica. The resurgence of interest in guitar from that episode alone has overwhelmed us guitar teachers. And we really appreciate it because a lot of us grew up in that era listening to James Hetfield of Metallica playing these incredible riffs on guitar and doing anything we could to sound like him. I was working with a student today on one of his incredible riffs off the And Justice For All album, and the song itself is called And Justice For All. That song starts with a clean tone guitar figure that soon turns heavy, and it's a very difficult figure to play, not because of the notes that you are playing, but because of the notes that you aren't playing. My student was having trouble getting it to sound exactly like the record, and it made me think about what fingerings are necessary to play that riff and have it sound like James Hetfield sounds when he plays it. Let's take a look at the riff. Even though my student was playing the correct notes, it wasn't sounding like James Hetfield playing the riff because of how my student was fingering the riff. Normally, you would see a seventh fret on the A string and a seventh fret on the D string and want to play them both with the same finger. The trouble with doing that in this context is that we need the A string to ring out the whole time. That means that we have to use a different finger to play the seventh fret on the D string. In this case, we'll use the ring finger. And we'll use the pinky to play the ninth fret. This ends up being a big stretch, but it's an important part of the sound because the A string needs to ring out the whole time. After cleaning up his fingerings a bit, we were able to get my student sounding like the record. When you're learning to play James Hetfield's riffs, I encourage you to think about what strings you're hearing, what strings you aren't hearing, and what fingerings he may be using to achieve the sounds that he gets. It's great to be back with you guys. I'm looking forward to many more videos. In the meantime, please head over to BackstageGuitar.com and check out the video library we have there, as well as the interviews that we've done, and look for more interviews to come. Until next time, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.